Hey guys, this is Debarshi and welcome to the unboxing of my new Boya BYDM200 digital condenser stereo microphone for iOS. Some of you have complained to me about audio on my channel. It's really hit or miss because sometimes I use a blue snowball and the blue snowball outputs pretty good audio. But then when I am recording on my iPhone like I am now, it's not compatible with my blue snowball for some reason. So I've decided to remedy that situation by getting this microphone, which has a lightning connector. So basically this device is compatible with any iOS device out there. So that could be iPad, iPhone, or iPod Touch. This is Apple MFI certified. So this should work with any lightning connector. Additionally, this comes with a foam windscreen, a windshield fur, and carry pouch. Uh, so it is portable and it does have some accommodation for noise. All right, let's get to unboxing this baby. Okay, there is the carry pouch. Comes with the windshield fur, along with the muffler, it looks like, and there's the lightning connector. And inside here seems to be the microphone. Wow, this is a microfiber cleaning cloth that you can use to clean the lens of your camera. I'm very glad that they included this. I can clean my iPhone lens using just this. This is the actual microphone. So it goes inside this windshield muffler right there. This is the microphone inside of the foam windscreen. You can basically just take it out if you want to directly record. As you can see, it's got the model number inside here and it's got a lightning connector. This is a direct lightning connection. So this will not work with USB-C devices unless you have a lightning to USB-C adapter. And even then, I don't know if it will work or not. For purposes on this channel, shooting off an iPhone, it definitely should work. Inside here is the fur windshield. And what this does is it protects from noise, from wind, and uh, when you're recording outdoors. You can alternate between the foam windscreen and the fur windshield depending on whether or not it's windy outside. If it's windy, you can choose to use the fur windshield to protect against noise from wind. And if it's not so windy or you're recording indoors, you can choose to use this foam windscreen. All right, so now let's test this baby out. This is a test with the microphone indoors. As you can see, my apartment is a junkyard. Doors with the microphone without any protective layer. Outdoors with the foam windscreen on. Outdoors with the fur windshield on the windscreen. I was really hoping that I could recommend this device, guys, but I can't. And this is why. Hey guys, what's up? Hey, what's up guys? This is Barshi and we We are Okay. Yeah, say something. <laughs> that happened 9 out of 10 times. Like 90% of the time that I tried using this microphone, it failed. There was static, there was noise, I couldn't perceive anyone's voice, not even mine. This is ridiculous, especially for a $69 to $70 so-called pro microphone. I have returned this device through Amazon, received a new microphone, which I will be reviewing very soon on this channel. That's gonna be it for this one, guys. I'm really sorry that this video didn't pan out into what I hoped it would be. I can't recommend this microphone just because of all the static and the noise and the inability to actually make content with it. However, I will be getting a new microphone soon and I promise you that I will be working on improving the audio in this channel. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe below.